Hey everybody, in this video we're going to uh, create a project to demonstrate using outlets and actions. So I'm going to create a simple project here. We'll create it as a single view application. And I'll call it Say Hello. Okay, so first I'm going to go ahead to the build settings and we'll take a look at this Swift compiler setting. So use legacy Swift language version allows us to use a prior version of Swift. Uh, that's going to help us this semester to use the, stay on the version that our book is on. Okay, so what we really are getting at with outlets and actions is the ability to take a user interface which we create in the interface builder and connect it to our code, which is uh, the view controller. So remember the MVC model, right? We've got our view uh, and then we've got our controller. So really what we're doing is we're building the view, which is done in interface builder. Uh, and then we're going to connect it to our controller, which is the view controller. So in order to work with our app in interface builder, click on the storyboard. And the main here's the main storyboard inside of Interface Builder. Okay, so our app today is just a real simple. Uh, we're gonna enter some input. We're gonna enter a name, and then we're gonna output hello to that name. So all we really need is one text field. This will be for the name. <clears throat> An UI text field just allows us to enter a single line of, of uh, text. If you need help on these uh, inside of this object library, if you need help with all of these objects, you can single click on them and they give you a little better description of what they are. Okay, now we need several labels. <clears throat> so we'll have a title for the app. Uh, we'll have a label where we're going to output hello to the person's name and we'll have a label for the input and then we also need a button so we're going to attach an event to the button or in, a, in Apple lingo we're going to attach an action to the button and that's going to Fire off a method which assigns a value to one of the labels. So uh, to change the text in a label, just double click it. This is where our output will be. And I'm just going to label this name. You can, you know, practice arranging the objects as much as you want. Uh, we can click on it and change the font size, or play around with a lot of font settings if you want. Uh, just click on this to open a, a font dialog. There's an alignment button if you want to center align the text. Um, there are a lot of different settings. You can play around with those as much as you want. Something that's really nice in, in uh, Interface Builder is these guides. So you can see as soon as uh, I get to the center of the dialog there, it's going to create that guide in the middle. So I now, I now know it's centered. Uh, once I reach the edge of the label that I just resized, it's going to show me a guide for that as well. So you'll see both guides appear. On the right side is showing me that I'm aligned with Say Hello. The center is that I'm aligned to the center. Okay, so now's the fun part. We've got a simple interface. Uh, it's not. Per it's not going to display perfectly yet, but uh, it's, it's uh, good enough for a first first time here. 
Now's the fun part. We're going to connect this uh, view inside of our interface builder. We're going to connect that to the view controller. So to do that, we go up here and we uh, click show the assistant editor. Now we're in assistant editor where we can see our interface builder. view on the left and we see the code that corresponds with it on the right. Okay, so to add code, to connect this interface to the view controller, we're actually going to use control clicks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little bit of room at the top of the class now we're going to add some class properties. So I'm going to click, hold down control, and I'm going to click and drag into the class. And it pops up this dialog. And you, can, you can see that we can create an outlet or an action uh, with a, well, I guess it depends on the object. Uh, we're going to create an outlet, and I'll call it I'll just call it greeting. The type is UI label and storage is weak. Uh, and notice at the end we have this uh, semicolon which means that it's wrapped. So we can have a nil value. We have this IB outlet identifier at the beginning. And that is really important. That's what's identifying that this is attached to the user interface. So remember, IB stands for Interface Builder, right? Okay, we're going to do the same thing with the text input. I'm going to hold down Control and drag it into our class. And again, we're creating an outlet called Name. And with the text input, you can see that you can create an outlet or an action. And I'm going to call this Name. And now we are going to uh, add an action to the button. So I'm going to, again, the same way that I created an outlet, I'm going to hold down control and drag it into the editor. This time I'm going to select action and I'll call it say hello. You have to be a little careful with the naming because we just named our uh, our class field greeting. If we say set greeting, it actually conflicts with the uh, generated uh, setter method or set greeting. So name it something uh, that's not set and then one of the field property names. Okay, so you can see there's a lot of events uh, with a button. Touch up and size what we want. Uh, and we're going to click connect and you can see that it generates a method. I'm going to go over here and change the button <laughs> to say hello. Okay, so that's all we need to do in order to, to uh, connect our view to our view controller. And then when we talk about MVC, this is really the view, and this is really the controller part of our application. Now, at this point, we don't need a separate model. Uh, we're creating it within the view controller, which is fine. Okay, so uh, one last thing we need to do is we need some code. We need to implement say hello. And we're just going to set, uh, just like we'd say hello world uh, in any starting application, we're going to say say hello to the person's name. So we'll say greeting.text equals name dot text and I want to show you this uh, if we're using it in an operation so we're actually going to use it inside of a concatenation operation and it's fine here but as soon as we use it inside of concatenation we need to ensure that we're accounting for any nil values so in order to do that we actually need to unwrap it and the way we do it is the same way that, same way that we wrap it we just add an exclamation mark at the end. So I'm going to say hello. 
and concatenate that with the value in text. I'll just output an exclamation mark at the end. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. And, uh, this is this is something to, to watch out for. It is in chapter three on how to unwrap a class field. So you might want to check that out uh, if you're not sure about that. But you can see that when we generated the field with our control click event or control click uh, technique, we we it added this exclamation mark, uh, which is wrapping it, and then inside of the method we're unwrapping it. And all we need to do to display something to this output is assign a value to this property now because greeting is attached to this label. So I'm going to go ahead and run it now. And we'll wait while our iPhone emulator fires up. say simulator <laughs> okay and here's our app so we'll enter a name and click say hello just like a user would be pressing on it and it outputs hello Steve so that's it. Really, really, this week the the most important things to focus on on our uh, the idea of model view controller and how we separate those out. Make sure you're comfortable creating an interface uh, inside of the interface builder. Uh, open open up the um, assistant editor and make sure that you can create outlets and actions and that you understand what those mean. We're just connecting the view with the view controller. And this, this class, view controller, uh, which is generated for us, is really the code behind our user interface, behind our view. Okay, thanks.